Dr. Joe, um, we've recently seen there's some studies starting to come out uh, linking that arginine is having an impact through nitric oxide on uh, suspected uh, some value towards dementia and the family of diseases uh, of Alzheimer's and others that are part of the dementia family. What advice or what, uh, what experience have you had with regards to how the uh, V3 products, uh, Proarginine, Mystica, Core Greens, and the use of vitamin D if, if in that case, how would you see that that would influence somebody who uh, wants to prevent dementia but maybe is in the early stages? Well, first I want to thank my mentor and my librarian, John, for uh, giving me the recent piece of information that summarized a lot of uh, this about how uh, we can uh, do various things. Uh, the arginine was the subject of the article, but you've put it well. There's lots of other things that do other uh, healthy things to make sure that people can live longer within the framework of not getting uh, Alzheimer's. Let me tell you first what Alzheimer's is, because when I went to school, it was a mystery and so forth, and it is still for a lot of people. But it's actually an infection of the cold sore virus. Cold sore virus. Herpes 1, things that pop on your lip, and it goes into your brain. And 100% of people have this virus. You better have it by the time you're about 5 to 10, because if you get it as an adult, you really get something bad that you may not ever recover from. So here we have something that seems innocuous only because we're so familiar with it, but it is bad. Well, why doesn't everybody get Alzheimer's? Because Alzheimer's is a specific kind of dementia. It doesn't mean that everybody gets Alzheimer's as they get old. But we get different kinds of dementia. So Alzheimer's is a very special thing. It's important to know for two reasons. One, because what we'll talk about. But secondly, in September, which didn't happen, but soon we're supposed to get two new things from the FDA. First of all, a test for Alzheimer's. It's a genetic test. That's why everybody doesn't get it. You have to have a susceptibility. So if you can be identified as somebody at risk for it, aha, uh -huh, that is something that is really worthwhile. Up until this afternoon, who cares? Because if there's not a treatment, I've got something to worry about. I'm going to get Alzheimer's. And yet, you know, if every, like my wife, every uh, woman in, in her family have all gotten uh, Alzheimer's, identifiable, proven Alzheimer's. So she doesn't like this. <laughs> and so uh, what I did with her is to put her on the treatment very, very well and early in life and made everything in a situation where, uh, as far as she's concerned, she's never going to get it. And as far as I can see, never going to get it. So the clinical situation uh, is under control when you use something like the arginine. Now, how does it work? Because it's multiple aspects. You have to have, again, uh, a tendency for the alkalization of the body. You have to have something so that uh, when you do something appropriate, the body will be ready to accept it as a prevention more than a treatment. We've had people that go into various systems uh, where they begin to get other things that are going wrong, uh, and then you can intercede, and that's, that's good. It's always best to prevent. It is just so much more effective. And so we really like to do that. <coughs> and the other aspect of this is that there are certain vitamins we think that are very, very important. We're going to get a vaccine pretty soon that will do that. That's the other part that's coming out. The vaccine will be against the cold sore virus, and it will be a therapeutic vaccine. During its FDA trials, we went through uh, three hospitals on the East Coast in the VA hospital system where they were warehousing all these people with Alzheimer's who were just sitting around being fed and watered and so forth waiting to die, and uh, they cleaned them out. They brought them all home, sort of like the high desert study. With the, uh, with the arginine? With the arginine, yeah. You're, you're beginning to see a trail here. You see a lot of chronic diseases, things, you know, terrible, can't be, can't be uh, you know, tolerated anymore, but we have to, and it's an onerous thing we have to endure, and they're going to go away. 
this is really a magic moment as far as this is concerned. So again, all the V3 plus the D3, uh, these are the kinds of things that set the stage for both reversal and hopefully the, the things that will make everything not happen, prevention being the main thing. So the chronic diseases that we are most concerned about, either having them or preventing them, the Proarginine Plus, the Mystica, the Core Greens, and the D3, all of those would have a dramatic